<coughs> so let's begin huh <sighs> so um assalamu alaikum and good morning to whoever is watching the video so this is this video will be a short explanation about the vending machine code which i have made okay so let's begin so here i have a list called drinks menu which i in which i have given every single item as a dictionary then we have then we have a then we have a def function which in which we have categorized all all the things as drinks and snacks then we have a for loop system that prints out the dictionary like a menu which you can see on the right side in this python shell then uh, then the, then we use the def menu function to print the drinks and snacks to call the to call to call the snacks and drinks function then then we have the def order which is the main ordering system right here so now then we have a while loop that starts the function then it prints the menu then we print the menu then we ask user input of the credits then we have an invalid amount then we have we we have a code where it asks user input of the displayed items then if the product does not exist we have a product does not exist message then we have a for loop in which we also have insufficient funds and out of stock message then in when then we input the item then it displays the item that the user picked it reduces the stock quantity by one so whatever the stock quantity right here for example this quantity is for example if the user selects galaxy bar chocolate it reduces the quantity then uh, then we uh, then it appends the price into the list of this empty list total sum then appends the item into the cart which is this empty list cart then it prints the remaining stock of the item then uh, it prints the item being dispensed prints the cart it prints the total amount prints the change where the user has entered his his or her uh, his his or her amount which she desires to spend minus the total amount of the product which is given here and then it prints the and, and, and it prints a final thank you message for using the vending machine then here we have used break to break the for to break the loop and start all the way from here and then we rename the function to vending machine where we call the function or where we call the order where we call the order function which we have put in the beginning yeah and then and then we have called this vending machine output to start this whole code now let's move on to the output so now we have the output which is on the right side of the screen now let's see how the output works now here we have the first line which is given in the code which is this please insert an amount to proceed to buy an item in the vending machine now let's now let's insert our amount which is 10 let's just say we have 10 dirhams now we put the in now we input the number of our desired item which is this line okay which is this line uh, so let's say you let's say the user chooses number 10 Let's say the user chooses number 10, which is which is mango juice, which is three drums. So now we put the input the number as 10, and here it prints the item, desired item that you picked. It displays the item that you picked. It shows the stock, which is which is on if which is if you look at the right side, is um, is this code is this prints the remaining stock of the item which is this code and this and now the dispense item will be printed this code this this output is related to this line you may now proceed to receive you may now proceed to receive the following items that have been dispensed and it prints the item that you have inputted right here now here we have the total amount and the change that will be returned to you as you have given the as you have inserted the amount of 10 drums. This is the code which is related to this. 
then we have a closing message right here which is this now you might be wondering what about uh, what about the insufficient funds and the out of stock message uh, or the product does not exist or is invalid or please enter a valid amount what about those outputs so let's say let's say we have an example where the user puts an invalid amount which for example the user might have put like not a positive value for the amount or just an accidental zero so it prints this message insert please enter a valid amount so here now for the next for the next message which is product does not exist we can put it we can first we'll have to choose an item first we'll have to insert an amount then choose an item which is which is which has less quantity which is this galaxy bar hazelnut which in the code sorry galaxy bar chocolate which in the code has only one quantity so here now as we select the galaxy bar chocolate here now it shows the amount of galaxy bar chocolate remaining zero now we we start the process from from the beginning we add our 10 dirhams as our amount then we if we select the same thing again which is galaxy bar chocolate it prints galaxy bar chocolate is currently out of stock please choose another item which is out of stock this code which is this code now for the insufficient funds now for the insufficient funds for example let, let's say the user puts five dirhams as their uh, five dirhams five dirhams as their mm, amount to buy any any item in the vending machine and they want to select the 20th item in the list which is galaxy bar hazelnut which is more than the amount they had entered so if we allow this if we enter it now it will show insufficient funds please kindly re-enter the appropriate amount so that's so that's where we have everything so that is how the vending machine works thank you for watching and i would really like to thank uh, usman sir for helping helping us helping me in in making this project and the code and thank you for watching goodbye